Greetings, traveler. I know it may be tempting not to heed warnings telling you to turn back now, but this one you might want to pay attention to if you're sensitive towards sexual content or foul language in a podcast. We will be swearing during this episode, and we will be talking about some not-so-PG-13 things. So this is your one and only chance to turn back now. Please enjoy the show. The Unanimous Declaration of the 13 United States of America. Woman charged with trying to buy another woman's baby in Walmart self-checkout line. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth a separate and equal station which the laws of nature and nature's God entitle them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. In 2011, a man from North Carolina attempted to pay for things at Walmart using Monopoly money. What the fuck? We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In Ohio, a man named Donald Chip Pug or Pew decided to send a better uh, picture of himself to the police as a wanted poster because he didn't think they did a good job of capturing his best angle. I'm gonna need to revoke internet privileges. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. Woman accused of plowing through ex-boyfriend's funeral now charged with vandalizing Jesus statue. (laughs) Iconic. (laughs) <laughs> that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and institute a new government. Man pleads guilty to putting razor blades in pizza dough. Laying its foundation on such principles as organizing its powers in such a form, as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Literally the whole state of Florida. Did you see the one about the woman that stabbed her husband with a squirrel? Yeah, you got it. (laughs) Prudence, indeed, will dictate that governments long established should not be charged for light and transient causes. And accordingly, all experience hath shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer, while evils are sufferable, than to right themselves by abolishing the forms of which they are accustomed. This is our Fourth of July episode. Hey everybody, welcome to the Nat One Podcast, aka Nope, because nope, you're not gonna want to hear what we're about to have to say. I'm Pertusin. I'm Levi. And I'm Jordan. Have you guys ever have you guys ever looked up your Florida man headline for your birthday? No. It's very funny. Mine is about um, a man that tried to stab the blue caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland because he was like high on bath salts and the caterpillar was telling him to rob a convenience store. No. I'm pretty <laughs> sure all of mine, or well, not all of mine, but I'm pretty sure mine wasn't that exciting because my birthday's Christmas. So it was like men's Santa costume and does something weird. And every arrest that begins with man in Santa costume is weird. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's Florida or not. <laughs> now, On July 2nd, can... 2004, police arrested a Florida man, David R. Stewart, 38, for an elaborate nationwide phone call hoax. <laughs> All I can think of when I hear Santa, Santa headlines is the episode of It's Always Sunny. Did you fuck my mom, Santa? Did you <laughs> fuck my mom, Santa? <laughs> Wait, this is that oh. one I learned about in, that, in, in, um, in a psychology class where like, and because it had to do with the, what was it, the Milgram experiment where it was like they, they pretended to be authority over the phone and they got uh, fast food places to make their employees strip. That's insane. It was awful, and I didn't realize this happened on my birthday. Happy 4th of July! (laughs) Yay! Happy 24th birthday, America! (laughs) Only four years older than me. (laughs) You're gonna catch up. (laughs) You're gonna go date Lady Liberty. Is that a threat? (laughs) You can't stop me. It is because it's a French guy's mom, so she's a MILF. Yo, (laughs) Warforged No! Metal Knees? No. And she does leave. love poor people, so. <laughs> but yeah, so we, you know, we're a D&D podcast, but we were also, we do be from America. And it is hot. Uh, the, <laughs> I'm actually from Christmas, but. <laughs> exactly. I'm from space. <laughs> I'm this, from America. 
this is a holiday week and we were like well we should do something for the fourth of july you know it's it's kind of hard to make that really related to D D. But we found a way and we think- I mean, we could have gone with the original idea and just let me talk about Independence Day for three hours. Well, I haven't watched that movie. It's so Jordan, good. Get, that movie, like Jordan just said, she's from space. It's about Jordan <laughs> coming here from space. Wait, Independence Day is not about the revolution? It's just no. her biography. <laughs> I haven't seen it, but I also haven't like- I, I've seen clips and I know generally what it's about. But I'm anyway. making you watch it this year. It's got one of the greatest <laughs> film speeches of all time. In it, it does. It's a very good movie. Film speech. English? Yes. No. <laughs> Wait, is it's that like, like can <laughs> Film speech? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what they give you the film degree for. Oh, Jordan yeah. is fluent in film speech. I'm fluent in film speech. For this week, uh, Jordan's going to give us a whole TikTok in film speech. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I can't wait to see what you come up with, Jordan. <laughs> but anyway, what we've decided we think we're going to do, at least for this year, is we're going to try and make D&D 5th edition builds for some of the biggest, most influential states in the country. And uh, Ohio. And, and that one, too uh f to all of our viewers that don't know the states or don't care about america <laughs> you're watching the fourth of july episode so yeah see this as an educational opportunity maybe yeah. we'll learn something about the states or D. Yeah. we are not yeah. liable for any misinformation that is presented in this podcast <laughs> yeah only levi is for that yeah. I, I honestly probably should be because I'm studying history. <laughs> Levi's the history major, so whatever we fuck up fact fact wise is Levi's fault. Yeah. He's he's like our Dylan, but for history. <laughs> <laughs> we found the different Dylans. You know, Levi Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> the Dylans were the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Every Dylan's got its day. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know which one we should start with. Um, could go by like population or actual land mass. The biggest state. Biggest by land mass or population? Rhode Island. What's big about Is that? Is that either? <laughs> it's heart. <gasps> I have I've never been to Rhode heart. Island. I've never been either. I don't know anything remote. Like, like Rhode Island is the size of Scioto County. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. That's no, right. Okay, it's maybe like the size of two put on top of each other. Oh dear it's God, the Vatican that's a State. lot of yes. <laughs> two sided counties on top of each other is a lot of hypodermic needles. Okay, it's not culturally <laughs> Scioto <laughs> County on top of each other. It's the size of two sided counties on top of each other. Yeah. What about elevation? No, don't look. Don't, I don't care. <laughs> At least seven Scioto County. <laughs> well, it's coastal, so probably actually a lot less. That's what I was thinking. One um, fourth of Scioto County. Well, I don't know. What state do you guys want to start with? Do you want to start with home state or do you want to start with a big state? I do have something for Ohio. Okay, go ahead and give us Ohio and then we can do something else. Um, I think Ohio is a warlock and the patron is Brutus Buckeye. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> because the amount of people that religiously follow Brutus Buckeye is concerning. So well, Ohio a is a cleric Brutus instead. Buckeye. No. Because, like, Warlock, I feel like, is a, that's a smaller deal, right? That's like a more, I mean, we've talked about this. I mean, you don't know what, you don't know what sinister intentions Brutus Buckeye has in mind. I'm not saying that, like, regular <laughs> clerics can't also follow evil gods either. Wait, all I care about is if they are a warlock, what, is, what kind of patron is Brutus Buckeye? Great old one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unfathomable? <laughs> Fathomless. Great right, old sorry. one. Great old one, and it's packed of the tome because OSU Jeez. is a school. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be packed of the chain because our students are chained to them in debt. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not what the packed of the chain means. <laughs> I just wanted to make fun of because I don't understand the hype around OSU from people that don't go to OSU, and even <laughs> I don't understand it from the people that do go to OSU. <laughs> that is true. The most people that are, the people that are the most enthusiastic about osu are not students that's it makes no sense to me <laughs> okay i can get that i just wanted to roast osu 
I think because it also... doesn't make sense to roast Otterbein because Otterbein is my enemy school for the college that I went to. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably also we're probably in Aladrin, I would wager. Mm-hmm. Um, Why? But, well, because we experience all four seasons, unlike half of the country. Oh, true. <laughs> uh, and sometimes all in one day. Yes, we are known for our <laughs> crazy weather. Well, we're, I don't know if we're known for it, but we have it. People live in it know about it. Yeah. Allergen Valley. It's because <laughs> we live between a lake and a mountain range. Yeah. So we get the craziest weather. I can get that. Now, I went ahead and pulled up the U.S. population of 2022 by state. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I figure we'll just go down that list until we start grouping them together. No okay. offense to our viewers that live in small states population-wise. We'll probably group you with your other sister states. So we're Full either offense. starting with California or New York. California. Yep. <laughs> 40 million almost. Jeez. 40 lemon. Um, it's California. a beautiful state. <laughs> Outside of the cities. I, I've been there. Uh, the cities do kind of be crazy. Uh, but I mean, I just hate cities anywhere, though. <laughs> True. I also okay. This is a personal preference, but they got the cities that spread out far, like like mm. wide cities, not tall Instead cities. Vertical. Yeah. I prefer a tall city because I feel like I'm in a city. In California, I'll be in the city and I won't know it, and I don't yeah. like that. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, they got beautiful parks. They got, uh, you know, you can drive around the coast. You can see the beach. It's very beautiful. Very big as well the redwoods yes i, I remember ranger pictures there no because i don't think they care about their part no I'm kidding. <laughs> well i actually know that no is california but within recent years they have gotten rid of a bunch of laws which were like based on native american conservation practices where the natives were like yeah this is how we've made sure that the country doesn't the the land doesn't burn down every five years <laughs> yeah i was gonna say that they're a wildfire druid but i oh, thought that yeah. might hit too close to home <laughs> Um, sorry Californians and they got, been decided they got rid of it because of some misguided what's the word I'm looking for some mis- parties no some misguided uh it's like when you're a person who advocates for like the trees <laughs> Con- conservationists? conservationists yes <laughs> there were some misguided conservationists who thought that those laws were like bad because they were like yeah uh make like like trim trees and stuff and get rid of underbrush because it's bad and they were like no don't get rid of any plants ever uh and so california was like okay we'll remove the law and then fire (laughs) see this is also the issue because stuff like that with don't get rid of any plants ever is also how we have issues with invasive species which are worse Mm -hmm. for the environment than keeping all the plants environmental species are bad i was looking for (laughs) Mm -hmm. i was looking for environmentalist i knew it started with an e (laughs) I could go on and on about invasive species of plants. I get I but yeah, so subjects. yeah, wildfire druid because they used to be like probably one of the best states about environmentalism, and now they kind of like did a one eighty. So I'd say they were a druid, and now they turned into a wildfire druid. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I almost feel like they're a wildfire bard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just That's because Tennessee. of Hollywood? Well, they got Hollywood. They're really not druidy at all. Most of the like. Even the crazy flower child people didn't live like in California as much as outside of it. Nevada. So I would say they're they're a bard that got the druid subclass somehow. I feel like you're just basing it off of like Los Angeles and San Francisco. <laughs> no, there's a bunch of performers there. They're all over the place. There's there's a lot more California than just the coastal cities. And there's a ton of they got a ton of state parks. Yeah. How many times have you been to California, Levi? You've been once. <laughs> I went to all of it, though. I went to the north and the south. I went through it. I will counter this, though, with uh, the film capital of the country is slowly moving away from California. True. It is slowly moving to Georgia, of all places. All that the Marvel films are filmed in Georgia and Canada. Yeah, there's a lot in Georgia. But it doesn't mean that it can't be a failed bar. <laughs> True. Fire bar. A lot of hopefuls move there. <laughs> I don't know if they do anymore, but that's been its thing for like 20 years mm-hmm. or longer. No, I think that's been their thing since Hollywood has existed. So yeah, that's pretty much that's a big weight to carry. We can't just be like, oh, Hollywood. That's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's the cultural capital of the world. But still, at the same time, I know that that's something that Californians who aren't from Los Angeles hate. 
about their state because they're like yeah we have los angeles big deal like yeah. i'm so i'm so glad that my state is known for the place i don't live in and there's all this other stuff in my state like our amazing redwood forests that no one talks about because hollywood uh. <laughs> Well, we have a lot of things that we don't want to be known for, too. But yeah, we don't get true. to pick what our state does. <laughs> true. I didn't say didn't want to be known for. I said wanted to be known for. We do have a lot of things we don't want to be known for. Like we the baby also. in the well. Yeah. What? The baby in the well. Yeah. Or, you know, the trafficking, the big thing that blew up around Cincinnati. Well, yeah, that was, that was, yeah, I know about that one. I don't know about the baby in the well. I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay but we do have the rock and roll hall of fame we have the most presidents ever come from a state there's actually quite a bit of stuff in ohio yeah uh, we have our astronauts our cool astronaut dudes and our cool flight dudes well some of them aren't in ohio anymore well i mean they might be just underground yeah columbus is pretty big and happening columbus is yes it's like one of the biggest cities now not like size wise but like it's a it's the place to be it's got an up-and-coming like media scene yeah. going on that's where all the also media jobs ironically are in ohio. uh ironically if global warming continues on the trend it does ohio is going to be one of the most well nicest like climate wise places to live on the planet still because appalachia is because of the mountains is going to be able to still like actually have all the seasons <laughs> yeah so ohio while well, it'll get hotter yes and the weather will get wackier but we'll still actually have all four seasons instead of and we'll yeah. already be adjusted to having yeah. giant temperature swings. So there's also, that as well. We need to we need to clarify something real quick because we've said it like three times. It is Appalachia. It is not Appalachia. Coming from three people that live in Appalachia, it is Appalachia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or yeah, doesn't anymore. Well, so he's not allowed yeah. to comment. <laughs> True. We Me have, and Levi, it's Appalachia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have our mountains. We have fields and plains where there's a lot of growing. So much soybeans. Big cities. We got lakes. We don't have a like a coast. We don't have a uh, ocean, but we have lakes. We got Cedar Point, Kings yeah. Island. Those are pretty cool. Not a lot of yeah, that's amusement actually, parks. Yeah, you never really think about that. It's kind of wild that Ohio has like a couple amusement parks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more than one. <laughs> I'm sure there's at least a few Midwestern states that don't have any amusement parks and it's like imagine being like oh i have to go to the next state over to go to an amusement park i couldn't imagine that's not supposed to be mean i mean like it's difficult Stupid for me to be other like, midwest states <laughs> <laughs> um although to be fair to them uh where we live we have to drive like 45 minutes as our closest mall <laughs> that's the thing there's the four c's of ohio you either live in cincinnati columbus cleveland or corn <laughs> we live in corn <laughs> amusement parks in the i'm actually looking now because i'm curious where amusement parks in the united states are <laughs> yeah yeah actually that's wild there's a bunch that just don't have any yeah so literally like once you get uh okay texas oklahoma kansas nebraska south dakota North, both the dakotas montana wyoming colorado the four corners nevada idaho oregon washington mississippi alabama georgia uh all of new england yeah that's bonkers. Yeah. We actually have an above average amount because most states, well, the states that have them usually only have one. We have two. <laughs> yeah. Where is Six Flags? I thought Six Flags was near us. No, no. Six that's Flags is so. in New Jersey. Uh, no, that's that's, that's Six Flags Great Adventure. That's Six Flags Great Adventure. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. There's, um, a couple. There's also a Bush Gardens to the south. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God, Florida. <laughs> yes. well, they have so all many all just in orlando <laughs> yeah because they have uh, yep. the disney parks and, and sea world yeah. and, sea world. and universal and universal <laughs> i love you and legoland i think so it's not showing they up have, on this but i do think they have so. like a they have like a legoland offshoot it might not be a full legoland but they have something that's lego yeah what the heck is knott's berry farm and why does it have a roller coaster it's that's an amusement park yeah it's they actually knott's have one of the farm? Yeah, yeah, they actually have one of the biggest Halloween exhibitions. Um, they do like a really big haunt every year. Yeah. They're really famous for the uh, like the process of casting their haunts and the makeup team mm -hmm. that's behind that. It's oh. kind of like how Bush Baked Beans made Bush Gardens. They did? No, that's not true at all. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> I was going to be so shocked. I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be the um the Michelin man thing with Michelin being <laughs> Michelin both is the oh. restaurant yeah. thing. 
the the greatest restaurant reviewer in Europe is Michelin, but outside of Europe, they're the tire company. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got Dollywood, which is like a six hour drive from us? Question mark. Probably Roughly five seven or, six. or eight. It would depend on who's driving and how True. fast they want to go. <laughs> Appalachian themed amusement park, it says. Yeah. What is even Appalachian themed? What does that mean? Oh, you, oh, know. you know. Appalachian culture, Rust Belt culture, country Bible stuff. Belt culture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's in Tennessee. That's Bible Belt. <laughs> yeah. Get yourself your country stuff. Like uh, Moonshine. Dollywood's like, or what is it? It's like Dolly Parton's Grand Stampede is like their big thing. Yeah, they have the show and they have like all kinds of concerts and Western music and yeah. well, country music. Yeah, that, that's Appalachian culture pretty much, but North. <laughs> <laughs> but South, Dolly. but North. Yeah. <laughs> Our Lord and Savior Dolly Parton. Uh, but back to the States, uh, I make an argument that the California, if we're not going to say that they're a bard with a druid subclass, <laughs> they'll have to be a bard druid multi class. <laughs> I can works. agree with that. Okay. I can agree with that. <laughs> a bird. That I'll take. Bruid. Drard. Drard Butler. Okay. Is he from California? I, don't I have know. no idea. <laughs> let, me, let me look it up. I'll be, it'll be really cool if he is, and then we can go with Gerard. <laughs> Gerard. <laughs> I feel like it's one of the, uh, he's one of those uh, English people. Probably. <laughs> Well, the name, no offense, for the name like Gerard. <laughs> Scottish. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so the next biggest state on our list after California by population is Texas, about 30 Texas. million. This is a, as of 2022. Good old Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. True. Gunslinger fighter. See, I was going to say. Cavalier. I was going to say the Rune Knight. Why okay? Why Rune Knight? Out of the three of what we picked, why Rune Knight? Because the Rune Knight has the ability to grow in size at will. Oh, and become and what is it, huge <laughs> and everything's bigger in Texas. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was just going with the you know the stereotype of Texas, very uh, Republican, very give me my guns, very all that. True. But and I'm assuming was, Jordan was doing cowboys. Yep. <laughs> I like to imagine instead that it's like they play uh, any kind of race, like any kind, whatever race there would be, and then <clears throat> they get on a mount, like they get on a, a horse, and that's their mount. They're not a cavalier, but they maybe they got the mounted combat feet <laughs> or the combat feet. feet. <laughs> and then they're also a rune knight, and they grow in size, and that poor mount is no! Radon. <laughs> is Radon. <laughs> General Custard's last stand. I, I can concede the mountain the mounted combatant feat as being part of it. I just feel like mounts are an important part of it. True. Because you got all the cowboy stuff. Or what about the Alamo? I can't I think of any way. No, <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> you didn't read the syllabus. <laughs> I can't believe you would do this, Jordan. I, I can't think of any way to incorporate the Alamo unless now, it's like a background. Now, well, I think you it would are be hereby banned from the groovy smoothie. No, Whoa. it's the it's you take the amnesiac background and you can't remember the Alamo. But you have to remember <laughs> the Alamo. What's the opposite of amnesiac? Uh, <laughs> it's that memory one, person. It's that one thing where like you have almost memory. like yeah, photographic memory. I can only think of, of the, the scene. At, what is it? Pee Wee's Big the Adventure. Alamo. Where he like yeah. passes out and he gets up and he's like, what's the last thing you remember? I remember the Alamo. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> no, I think that's, I think, I think we have a rune knight fighter Texan with a mounted combatant feet mm. who also wields a gun as their main weapon. <laughs> Proficient with firearms. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So a cowboy. a cowboy. Yes, but large. <laughs> a large, large cowboy. cowboy. Um, and if we or, want to get really flavorful. Or hear me uh, out, centaur, they're their own horse. That's uh, um, <laughs> Oklahoma. <No. laughs> um, if you want to get real flavorful, we can talk about modern Texas culture and how like there's a lot of tech companies moving there. So maybe they got one level artificer dip. That's where the gun proficiency came from. Tech 
Texas. <laughs> exactly. <I guess. laughs> yeah. It's in the name. Yeah. It's like poetry. It, it rhymes. rhymes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so that's my I, that, that's that's what I'm thinking about Texas. Mm-hmm. I agree Texas. with that. Yep. Okay, we got another one. New York, another big one. Number three is Florida. Oh wow, twenty-two million. <laughs> I honestly thought Swamp. New York would have been better. <laughs> Uh, yeah, swamp. uh, swamp. Druid, uh, no, <laughs> circle of the land, swamp druid, <laughs> yeah, with an alligator familiar. <laughs> They're like the swamp people from Avatar. We're also being horribly stereotypical, so we apologize to any states that we offend by going. Pro- what do you want us to do, Jordan? Be like, well, know. actually, I think the people from Florida would be wizards because, like, <laughs> despite stereotypes, oh no, I don't expect anything <laughs> else, I'm just covering our asses. <laughs> We're only picking things off of your tourism websites, so take it up with your local governance. Yes. <laughs> I do really want to go to the Texas State Fair. Sorry, I, I, we were supposed to get off of Texas, but Texas State Fair is cool. It does look I've heard. fun. <laughs> uh, anyway, Florida. They're swamp. They're also swamp. Disney. They are Disney. They, what else they, are, they are several. Uh... True. But, you know, all the kids, they'll be like, I want to go to Disney. As Florida or I mean, California. I need at least one level of warlock so you can have Mickey Mouse as a patron. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to think of what else you could like. It's really just, I mean, swamp and beach. I get like spring break. Beach. <laughs> spring break. I uh, or if we want to go to the 80s, they had they were the massive influx of cocaine. <laughs> patron Pablo Escobar. <laughs> It's funny because they called him boss, and in Spanish, that's patron, patron. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I guess that's it. Swamp druid with Mickey Mouse patron. <laughs> they well, they do have all the crazy, uh, all the um, Florida man stories. I think we need to figure out what class a Florida man would be. Like, what is the Florida man build? I was thinking barbarian something. I don't know that what. makes sense. Wild magic barbarian. Pro- yeah, probably <laughs> what you're talking about. He's just a very determined commoner. <laughs> I also think it's very funny to think of all of the Florida man headlines as the same Florida man. <laughs> <laughs> Again, does, very does, determined commoner. <laughs> how does he keep breaching containment? Where is he coming from? <laughs> He's infinite. Every time someone reads Florida Man article, a new one is spawned. <laughs> the Florida Men. <laughs> or it's just also th- there you go, the wizard. They're all simulacrums of the same dude. Oh, They're no. all the same Florida man. <laughs> <laughs> Actually is a wizard. <laughs> We've come full circle. I don't know what you are, Florida. Sorry. You got swamps. <laughs> You're like a druid, but you also have crazy people that commit crazy crimes. <laughs> so you're also a barbarian commoner. <laughs> but also you have Disney, so you're also a warlock. So you're you're everything. You... It's a weird TJ multi-class. You get yes, one level in each. Yeah. <laughs> one level of each class. Florida is a min-maxer? I don't know. I don't, th- like I don't think that's a min-max. Yeah. You're a max <laughs> minner right now. <laughs> How can I maximize my minimum stat? <laughs> That's all I can really think to do about Florida. I, <laughs> I wanted to find a concise build. I can't for them. <laughs> all right. In that case, next up is New York. Well, finally, at Bard. 19 million. New York. Bar. Mm. They do got Broadway, and they've had Broadway for a mm. long time. Broadway. Which is I'm why? also thinking of just like I'm thinking Glamour Bird because of the spectacle of New York at Christmas time. New York does look pretty at Christmas time. And like that's that's ever like you think of Christmas time, you think of New York. Like because you got all the lights and you got the tree and you got the parade and the rockets and all that thing. I, mm-hmm. I'm thinking Glamour Bird. You can't not look at it. See, what I'm also thinking though is we're forgetting a lot of underbelly of New York. Subway pizza wrap. <laughs> the Underdark. <laughs> That's where the Underdark is. <laughs> but also they do have, I can't remember, was it New York that had like the mob mafia boss crime gangs? Or was yes. that a different New England? I was don't it New know. York? Yeah, like it was Al Capone? New York. Okay. Yeah. I think that was Al Capone, yeah. Um, I feel like that needs some homage because that also, that was enough to become cultural with like the Godfather and all that. Rogue? 
Maybe. Rogue Bard Multiclass? Rogue Bard, Bard of Glamour. Rogue. Well, actually, that's that's what it is, because then, then you do, like, all of the Glamour Bard stuff as a front. It's a distraction. Yes. For the seedy underbelly shit. That's exactly rogue what I was thinking. Mastermind Rogue? Yes. Probably. That's probably the best one. It's not Scout. It's not Phantom. <laughs> but- <laughs> Soul Knife. I was thinking Scout Phantom, or not Scout, Rogue Phantom for Phantom of the Opera, and then instead <laughs> make the Bard College of Whispers. <laughs> <laughs> the Rogue is the performative one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Expertise in performance from the, that from could the also Rogue. Work. Take your pick, New York. You get Rogue Bard, but it's only two different combinations. <laughs> you have two yeah. choices. What's your weapon of choice, New York? Tell us in the comments. Pizza rat. Pizza. <laughs> they picked up one of the feats that gives them a spell and they chose find familiar. Actually, we, we need to think, I feel like Patty Lapone has to fit in there somewhere considering her penchant for yelling at people in theater audiences, which is wonderful and we love her for that. Because <laughs> she did it again recently. She, there's a video circulating where she was yelling at somebody at the company talk back to put their mask on <laughs> and she got heated. <laughs> Changeling for that. <laughs> No, I can no. see that. I can see that work. Or picking up prestidigitation as a spell. <laughs> or no, uh, uh, the one. Thaumaturgy. Boom your voice. <laughs> I open all the doors and windows. <laughs> <laughs> I close all the doors and windows. <laughs> yep. All right. So that's you, New York. Hope you like it. <laughs> next up, this is going to be an interesting one. And I'm also shocked that this is next up. Pennsylvania. At 13 million, almost. They got Pittsburgh and uh, Philadelphia. So. Philadelphia, they got Rocky. Um, yeah, he is. It's from always there. sunny. They got it's always sunny, and I they got like we, Hershey. We have to base everything off of it's always sunny. It's a rule. They we must. do have Hershey, so I think that makes them a wizard. I just thought it made them chocolate. <laughs> Well, it does make them chocolate, but that makes the people making that because it's like no, it's, you're thinking Wonka. <laughs> oh. It's like the, the Candy Man from he's a magical guy who gives oh, candy, yeah. not in a bad way. <laughs> I I went to Hershey when I was like six or seven years old, and I loved it, especially because I was a kid that ate candy all the time. <laughs> like I'm surprised I have teeth after I go in there. But, <laughs> We need to go again as a group. It's not that far from us, and it's really fun, actually. Summer road trip. Also, <laughs> it is where we did, you know, all that uh, stuff. Uh, those over two hundred years ago with the whole Declaration of Independence and everything. Yeah. So, Order of Scribes, Wizard. Also, Gettysburg. Gettysburg, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> War Magic, wait, no. <laughs> What I'm thinking is like a really happy, lighthearted class and subclass with a horrible backstory or background. Yeah. It's like one of soldier. the people that were had a run in with the gang from It's Always Sunny. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Rickety, Rickety Cricket. Rickety Cricket. <laughs> hey, Grix. <laughs> uh, Levi, have you ever seen that one anime meme that's like a, a teacher at like a little, like a kindergarten or something looking at a kid and there's a picture yes, of her. I know exactly what you're talking about. There's a picture of her and she's like, a well, I don't know if I can say the word. She, she's like YouTube. a military operative in yeah, the picture. You, YouTube would get me if I said the other word. Point is, it's someone that has a nice, happy life that had a horrible, dark past. And I think that's exactly what Pennsylvania <laughs> is. But I don't know what the class would be because it's a happy class. They have Hershey and, and Philly Mom, and Rocky. Happy. And it's always sunny, which is the burn, baby. Burn, 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 burn. Um, then maybe like some kind of cleric, light, like life cleric or light trickery. Or, or a um, or a soccer. A what? Sorcerer. Oh, a sorcerer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. what kind of sorcerer do you yeah, i don't know i was saying well because i always think the the stereotype with sorcerer is like privileged rich kid and so you said happy subclass i was like yeah rich people are happy right well i was saying it could be like a clockwork soul because of hershey mm. in the building yeah um i really don't see how draconic is ever going to work its way into this list sorry that's that, who do you if think you keeps all the chocolate the, if you chocolate use dragon. draconic of definition as like a draconic as in like uh tyrannical but that still doesn't really work for Hoarding. most things chocolate dragon i like that one chocolate dragon <laughs> 
Um, New homebrew uh, dragon coming at you. <laughs> I could be a sorcerer. Charisma. That was also what I was thinking was charisma. One of the others. It's not a shadow sorcerer. <laughs> Wild magic. <laughs> that could be funny. Because you don't know if you're going to get food poisoning from Hershey or not? No. <laughs> Is that an issue that is common? It may be. No, I don't believe so. <laughs> alchemist? Whoa, alchemist artificer. Because <laughs> it's making chocolate. I love it. Alchemist artificer that has uh, dumped int for charisma. No. <laughs> Maybe not int, but has charisma as like their second or first highest stat. They took the performer feat or the actor <laughs> feat. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can get with that. Thanks, Pennsylvania. You're an artificer now. Yep. <laughs> Okay, that Next. about that's our most. Well, there's a few more. Illinois is on there, and then Ohio and Georgia, and North Carolina and Michigan are the top ten. Michigan, I- <laughs> Ohio's in the top ten. Man. Yeah, legally, since we're from Ohio, we can't talk about Michigan. Yeah, we will <laughs> get killed or kill. <laughs> yes, we could touch on the uh least populated it's on this list too it has it right plain and center for me uh Ooh. i know i know which it is i know what it is you do yep jordan do you know uh i was gonna guess wyoming it, it's it's wyoming it is wyoming uh. by a pretty large margin well the next one is vermont and it's a hundred thousand well actually only forty thousand people difference because they're like one of the largest states but they're the least populated yeah i know this from the laramie project (laughs) that's where the joke of wyoming isn't real comes from yes (laughs) do you know anyone from there yeah uh well well, i can't i I can't really think of anything from many of these uh, in the bottom 10 sorry you guys got to be more more iconic Uh, well, however, Wyoming is just a commoner because it's so unremarkable <laughs> that it doesn't have a class. That's what they want you to think. But if you, no one knows Wyoming because they're actually a false hydra. Oh, uh, or we're it's just like, like that. the most basic class you could think of ever. What's the most basic class you think of when you human think fighter, of blood hunter? No, <laughs> no, but I, I like the idea of Wyoming being a false hydra, though. I desperately want to encounter a false hydra, but I also don't because they're terrifying. Yeah. Like me, Jordan likes the lore of them, but if I were playing a character in a campaign where we had a false hydra, I would cry. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we could. Uh, we. I want to talk about the other like crazy states, the ones that are like have an identity separate from like the ones right next to them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I did want to hit up Alaska and Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> okay. Um, Alaska. It's cold. I think Alaska would be some kind of like ranger, right? Because it's like the cold frontier out there. A lot and of it oil. Would, when I think of Alaska, I think of like back when like the Alaskan gold rush happened. And there were all those dudes going up there on those expeditions. I think of that kind of stuff. Um, I can only think about vampires when I think of Alaska. <laughs> what? There is a movie. I cannot remember the name of the movie. There's a movie because it's in certain parts of Alaska, like it's just nighttime for two weeks. Straight. 28 days yeah. later? It's No, 28 days later is the zombie film, but it's 28 something. It's it's something close to that. But basically, years. No. <laughs> no. Uh, but there's there's a movie where there's a vampire invasion whenever the town goes dark and so they have to survive the like two weeks that the town is dark while trying not to die mm-hmm. to the vampires and I think they fail spoiler alert for the movie <laughs> that I've only watched half of <laughs> they can be a dampier then sure <laughs> dampier race Alaskans <laughs> uh, that makes sense because they're cold <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta figure out the name of this movie uh like there's oil there's gold it's far away from the rest of us and it is cold i don't know i don't really know what else is going on for alaska other than that stuff well some of their uh, the southern parts of alaska are getting more temperate because of global warming 30 days of night that's the movie. Ah. we were close with the like 28 days thing it's yeah <laughs> very similar i know there's a couple movies like that that are similar i couldn't yeah but hmm what would alaska be for real I think Alaska is a blood hunter, but they don't hunt blood. They hunt oil. 
<laughs> but I don't think blood hunters hunt blood. Uh, uh, also true. I never thought about that. Until someone just get Talos and Jaffe on the line. <laughs> <laughs> what is a blood hunter? <laughs> what if they're a Horizon Walker Ranger? That's what I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they're on the, it's like because the horizon walkers description is something something like defending from the edge of the horizon walkers guide the world against threats that originate from other planes and seek to ravage the mortal realm and they're up there at the top of the world they're on the edge that also fits with the vampire thing yeah, yeah. i was just thinking they walk the horizon literally because if i look at the horizon i can see the alaskan people walking on it Whoa, really? <laughs> yeah, they're like little ants, dude. <laughs> My vision is curved. <laughs> you say as one of two people in this call wearing glasses. <laughs> I don't know what else they would be, really. It could be gloom stalkers because it's so dark up there all the time. <laughs> you tell us, Alaskans, all the Alaskans watching this right now, comment if you stalk the gloom or walk the horizon. Your choice. <laughs> But you're a ranger either way, so cope. And uh, <laughs> walk the stalker, her gloom, the horizon. <laughs> her gloom? <laughs> Next up, that leaves Hawaii. I Hawaii. Oh. You is... gotta do something with volcanoes. Got volcanoes. Wildfire druid. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they're a light cleric. Because mm-hmm. light maybe. clerics are all about like bright light explosion mm. stuff. They also they got their Polynesian culture there more than they are more uh, than, yeah they're more than volcano yeah they got all the Hawaiian culture well that's their uh, that's Islanders, their background yeah. is yeah. sailor mm. so <laughs> not <laughs> not um, faceless no <laughs> simplifying your entire culture into sailor <laughs> you're welcome we apologize <laughs> yo. Oath of the Open Sea, or whatever it's called. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot that existed. <laughs> I say they're charismatic people because like you, Berser. They got all sorts of cool stuff going on, and a lot of people want to visit Hawaii or live in Hawaii because it's so tropical. True. Yep. It is very pretty. And they make efforts to be like, yeah, we love our country, or not our country. We love our state Culture. and our and our beauty. Yeah, they they actually make efforts to preserve all that stuff there. Mm. And it is the farthest away from us in the open sea. I dig it. Hawaii people, you're paladins now. What, what's that, like uh, the Who's Line bit, the street signs? Welcome to Hawaii. How did you get here in a car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's uh, back to Pennsylvanian people because they're the artificers. They're the ones that did that. Yeah. <laughs> they built a big tunnel. <laughs> Wait, there was is, a tunnel to Hawaii. Isn't um, From isn't, Philadelphia. Is under that, the entire continental United States. I don't think it's it's either Tesla or SpaceX. One of them is building those like hyper tunnels underneath Tesla. the ground. Is yeah, that on Tesla? Tesla? Don't get me started on them. I I think have, Levi has opinions. Opinions on the tunnels. I just like the idea that Pennsylvania is actually the ones doing that. <laughs> SpaceX is a cover up. It's the Pennsylvania Hershey <laughs> artificers. <laughs> It's the chocolate company that's building the tunnels under. That's the probably why they're country. not very. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's probably why they're not very systematically well built. At the time this is happening, us. Uh, this is like three months after May or two months after May. But spoiler alert, anyway. This is July. <laughs> yeah, the Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Hershey <Yeah>. artificers. <laughs> they're behind it all. <laughs> the Pin Illuminati. Yes, the Quakers. <gasps> Wait, <It's> me? <laughs> I'm that. I not at, not religiously. I just go to a college. It's a Quaker college. <laughs> <laughs> We're called the Fighting Quakers. It's an oxymoron. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I think that's the big draws about the uh, United States builds. I mean, you could say something about like Alabama and Tennessee, maybe the Four Corners, probably, and and Nevada. Nevada's got they are the light cleric, the four yeah. corners. Yeah, just because the heat. Yeah. Insert Mormon joke about Utah. Uh, Mormon joke about Utah. I don't <laughs> think that the Rust Belt is a class. They're a rust monster. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> they shred your armor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about Maine? They are the fishermen background. Monsters. You know uh, the best background we determined. 
Yes, chowder. it is the best one. <laughs> Clam chowder. <laughs> yeah. Chowder. Uh, I also love uh, all the all the what's his name Stephen King books based in Maine. Uh, True, all of the Stephen King books are based in Maine. I feel like there's got to be some sort of reference to that, but I don't know how. <laughs> Fishermen uh, with the fathomless warlock. I don't know. Can, you, can we make uh, the can we make the turtle monster into a D and D build? We go turtle. back to our our uh, <laughs> our other uh, episode about animals and mounts, and the <laughs> world turtle is a sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> dragon turtle. Yeah, but that's real. Wait, can oh, I have a dragon uh, a dragon turtle sidekick? If he likes you enough. <laughs> That's all I really want to note on about the states in general. Happy Fourth of J- uh, July, everybody! Happy Fourth of July. Also, <laughs> happy late birthday, Levi. <laughs> yeah, that too. It's also yeah, I'm going to be too big two one. You're Just like be... America. Yeah. No, America's twenty four. Yeah, happy twenty fourth birthday, America. Everybody, uh, tell us your builds for your states or your county or whatever on social media. I can't wait till three years from now when the joke for just that year is going to be happy 24th birthday, Levi. <laughs> it's going to get canceled, just like that one con for Taryn. <laughs> My 24th birthday? <laughs> no, America yes. being 24. Oh, <laughs> no, your 24th birthday. We're canceling it. Birthday is canceled. I can't be 24. <laughs> you have to skip. You go from being 23 to 25. You're like those leap year babies. <laughs> When you're 16 at the age of 84. <laughs> um, join us next year on 4th of July when we make D&D builds for the Founding Fathers. No. <laughs> write that down, write that down. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Bye. Hi, this is Jordan from Nat One Podcast. We hope you enjoyed the episode you just listened to. And we hope that you come back for more soon. If you'd like to keep up with the zany shenanigans of our lives and the different things that we do, you can find us on Twitter, TikTok, Spotify, YouTube, CastBox, and Anchor. We look forward to seeing you again soon. And hey, thanks.